Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you all how you can connect with an existing instance of a Chrome browser or how you can run your automation scripts on an already open browser. This comes handy when we have to debug our scripts, but we don't want to run all these steps of a test case to bring it to the breakpoint because running all these steps again takes a lot of time. But if you have the application already open on your existing browser, then you can run your test scripts from the point where problem exists rather than running all these steps again, which are working fine. So let's get started to see how we can run our script on an existing browser instance. If you see this code here, then this is how I have created my web driver object by using the web driver manager. The driver manager is used to set up the Chrome driver. In case a Chrome driver binary is not available on the execution machine, or if the binary available is not compatible with the current Chrome browser version, then this web driver manager will download the latest binary of the Chrome driver through this setup driver method. And after that, I have created a web driver instance using Chrome driver. So what will this do? This will open or invoke a new instance of Chrome browser where our test scripts will run. Every time we initialize the web driver object, this will invoke a new instance of Chrome browser. But now what we want is that we don't want to open a new instance of a Chrome browser because we want to run our scripts on an existing instance of Chrome browser, which is already open before running the script. So for that, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to create an object of Chrome options. And for that, I can type that options equal to new Chrome options. And then I'll add the capabilities to these options means the capability to run the script on an existing browser. And as part of capability, we have to provide the IP address with port number where our Chrome browser is running. So when we run our program, it will identify that, okay, I want to run my test on an existing instance of a browser instead of invoking a new browser. And to provide that capability, what we can do is we can type option dot debugger address. And to this debugger address, we need to provide the address where our already open instance of Chrome browser is running. For example, the default address of the Chrome browser will be 127.0.0.1 and the default port number will be 9100. This is the IP address for the local host and let's suppose this is the port number where my Chrome browser is running. Now the question is how we can run a Chrome browser in debug mode on a specific port. So for that, first let's open a command prompt at the location where our Chrome is installed. So this is the location where Chrome browser is installed on my machine. And now using the chrome.exe, I can invoke a Chrome browser. And along with chrome.exe, we need to pass the parameter hyphen hyphen remote debugging hyphen port for running Chrome browser in debug mode with a specific port number. And then you can provide any unique port number. Let me provide double line, double line. After that, you have to provide the user directory as well because 
if you don't provide the user directory, then your script is not going to run on the existing open browser. So for that, what we can do is we can type hyphen hyphen user hyphen data hyphen directory and then you can provide the location of your custom directory. Let's say I want to create my user directory at under C project user directory. So this is the command to run the Chrome browser in debug mode by providing the remote debugging port. And this user directory should be a valid folder where Chrome data will be stored. And after that, hit enter. The moment you hit enter, you will see a new browser will open, which is invoked in debug mode and also running on the port number which we have provided in the command line. So now our script will connect to this existing instance of the browser, which is running on the port number double line, double line. Now what I need to do is to go back to the script and update the port number here. After that, we need to pass this option object or capabilities in the Chrome driver. Now, when we execute our script, then the driver will see if there is a debugger address provided, then it will not initiate a new instance of Chrome. Rather, it will connect to the existing open instance of a Chrome browser, which is running on this specific port. Now, let's move to a test to see if my test runs on the existing instance of the browser. Let's say I want to run this test search book. You can see I have started executing the test and this is the instance of the browser which we have already opened through command line in debug mode. Now a test will directly start on this browser and no new instance of Chrome will get invoked. All the test steps which are going to run as part of this test case will run on this specific instance of the Chrome browser. You can see that on this very instance of the browser, it has navigated to Amazon.com. So it did not open any new instance of the browser. The scripts connected with the existing instance of a browser and starts running all the test steps on the existing instance of Chrome. So this way, you can execute your scripts or you can connect with an existing instance of a browser. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box in case of any question. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.